Malcolm Monroe. Okay, there you have it, Malcolm Monroe against the United States heavyweight champion, Mark Lewin. We await the start of the bout. There's the bell. It's underway. Mark Lewin, the United States heavyweight champion, looking to be in fantastic shape. He is the master of the sleeper hold. Mark Lewin, who has the most terrific... Most ast astounding sleeper hold in pro wrestling. Mark Lewin with a headlock. On Malcolm Monroe. Mark Lewin's sleeper hold has been clocked at about three seconds. How about that, pal? Three seconds. It is quick. A terrific sleeper hold. One applied takes three seconds. Malcolm Monroe lays those heavy laces of the boots into the chest of the United States heavyweight champion and then backs up Mark Lewin now very unhappy with the situation into the referee hold on to the ropes goes Mark Lewin forearm smashed by Malcolm Monroe. Not once but twice and again he lays it on the United States heavyweight champion. Fist to the midsection, forearm smash, Malcolm Monroe opening up here, laying those boots into Mark Lewin, a knee to the midsection, forearm smash, Monroe in a vicious mood is going after the United States heavyweight championship here, choke hold by Malcolm Monroe. Mark, Mark Lewin reverses that situation, oh, lays a fist on Monroe that decked him, really laid him out. Mark Lewin with a fist. Oh, he's got the sleeper hold on him. Mark Lewin did not waste any time, baby. Right into the sleeper hold. Mark Lewin with the sleeper hold. Malcolm Monroe has had it. Malcolm Monroe has had it. It's all over, but the shouting. The referee double checking, but that sleeper hold is lethal. We'll have the announcement from our ring announcer and the official announcement, that is, in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the fall in the match with the sleeper hold, the United States heavyweight champion, Mark Lewin. Mark Lewin, Malcolm, uh, Malcolm Monroe got very aggressive with you. Oh, it was a vicious attack that he put on you. He was going after that belt. He saw that goal flashing. Well, it's the goal that goes with it, you know. Being the United States heavyweight champion, uh, each night it's like fighting the, the top gun of any territory or any country, I should say, in the world. You know, I wrestled Andre the Giant. Uh, not so long ago in uh, Orlando, Florida, in front of a packed house, and uh, believe me, when I looked across the ring, I knew I had an outstanding opponent in Andre the Giant, and I was successful enough to keep a hold of the belt. There's been other fellows, you know, throughout the world that uh, campaigning against it, uh, Spiros Arian, uh, King Curtis, and of course, the most vicious of them all, the one that's really hot on my neck, and that's Don Kent, and the Sheik. Oh, the Sheik's so, very unhappy that you have that belt, I can tell you. I, when I say Don Ken, I think of many, many things. I think of, uh, I think of a guy that uh, has an acute temper, a guy that uh, gives no quarter, but then I look at an animal, a guy that uh, can chew and gnaw on you and really cause you some kind of agony, you know, get right down on it. Mark, but, we're running out of time, but I want to wish you luck. Your fans are behind you. Your people. Well, that's army. what I really want to talk about is the people that have stood by me. God bless you all. And Sheik, King Curtis, bring them on because I thrive on competition. Mark, good luck.